Hello again. In this video I'm going to be looking at a 46 inch piece of test lead wire. This wire is 18 gauge. This is a Belden part number 09058899002. We're going to start with our 2 amp sweep up to 20 amps. And again this will be a hold time of 30 seconds. You can see we're at 8 amps right now currently dissipating two watts of power. Just looking at the power dissipation. Voltage drop is roughly now 0.3 volts at 10 amps. And this piece of wire is roughly 46 inches long. This is with roughly 20 amps applied. You can see the wires dissipating 13.9 watts and dropping roughly 0.7 volts. Someone had asked me about running one of the Probe Master probes to destruction. So I have this old one. The tip was kind of mangled up. Uh, so this would be a good candidate for this test. It's fairly old, but I'm confident that the wire itself is in pretty good shape. So again, I'm going to start with just the 2 amp sweep up to 20 amps. Probe Master Probe is also roughly 46 inches. Let's see, 18 amps is dissipating roughly 13 and a half watts and dropping roughly 750 millivolts. Not too surprised the wattage is a little higher, about 16.5 amps, about 16.4 watts. This next test we'll be running the Probe Master Probe to destruction. We're going to be sweeping from 5 amps to 60 amps in 5 amp increments. And again we'll be holding for 30 seconds at each current level. Looks like it's dropping about 3.3 volts, 3.4 volts, 189 watts. Here we are at 60 amps, dissipating about 250 watts now. Wire's holding up very well. It looks like it opened up. You can see the insulation is in very good condition. So I took this thing apart. The wire looks in very good condition. It looks like what actually happened is down inside of the probe, the solder joint had failed. You can see it just solders down inside and that got so hot it just became unsoldered. Huh. That's pretty impressive. Okay next this is going to be our Belden wire. This is using a mechanical joint there is no soldering. Just starting to see a little bit of smoke. Looks like about 171 watts, about 3.2 volts drop. A 
We are at 60 amps. It's about a 3.8 volt drop, 230 watts. That insulation's held up real well. I'm just going to increase this to 70 amps and we'll see if we'll get the wire to open up. Still conducting somewhat. You can see it's dropping about 18.6 volts and about 1.4 amps. This is all the probes that I've tested so far. In this column, we're looking at the calculated resistance of each probe with four amps flowing through it. The first probe, master probe, I tested was 31 milliohms, and then comparing that with the one that I just ran at 39 milliohms. The Belden wire, which is also 46 inches long, is 32 milliohms. So all three of these probes are very close. This is looking at the current for all the probes. Again, this yellow one is our Centec meter. This is looking at resistance. Again, by far the worst one is the Klein tools. Next are the Maztec red and black probes. Next are the probes off the Vichy. You see the remainder of the probes are fairly close. Looks like the resistance ranges from 0.026 ohms on up to 0.054. The top green trace, this is looking at the Unitrend. The next trace down is the Agilent, followed by the probe from the Fluke 101. Next we have the Hioki, followed by the Amp probe. This is the old Probe Master probe, followed by the Bryman, and then our Belden wire. And then our probe master, and the very bottom is the Maztec. Here we're looking at the power dissipation for three of the probes. The white's the newer probe master probe. This red trace is the older one that I just got through running. And the green is the Belden wire. This is the data we've collected where we've tested all the probes to failure. Again, the red trace is our Syntec. That's followed by our Vichy meter. The next one that failed is the Unitrend, followed by the plain red and black Maztec probes. This upper portion of the graph is at 60 amps. The blue is the older Fluke style probe. The white is our Belden wire. And the tan is our older Probe Master probe. This is the data sheet for the Belden 8899 test lead wire.
you can see it's 18 gauge it's a 6536 stranding tin copper insulation material is rubber the operating temperature is minus 40 to 90 degrees Celsius for those of you interested in making your own probes this may be a wire that you're interested in looking at again I want to take this time to welcome the new members looks like we passed 500 followers now I think that's going to be it for this video I hope you found it helpful till the next meter